Hey everybody, Al Puglisi, Al Puglisi Trains with Howard Zane and we're going to talk about a, another engine house that we're selling on the channel. Now, you watch my channel, you can go back in time about, oh, I guess three or four months, maybe five or six months, I can't remember, but there's a number of videos on the two-stall O-scale engine house Howard built for me for my, my O-scale two-rail layout. And this is a build for an HO customer and it's pretty spectacular and we sell these in O scale or HO scale. Let me show it to you. Well Howard you've been building engine houses for a long time. This one's for I guess a client that he doesn't have a layout. What does he have? A shelf? He puts these on display? Display. He's got quite a collection of my HO buildings. And right. display for No, someday he's going to retire. He's an airline captain mm -hmm. and next year he turns 65 which is a death knell if you're an airline pilot, he has to retire. Ooh. So then he'll probably have time to build a layout. He's got a nice house, he's got a room, nice. and for, for now he's just collecting brass and structures. Wow. He's got over 20 of your structures, I think. Something like that, I don't really count. Wow. And this engine house, I remember when you started building it for him, it's about, the diorama is 20 inches long by 9 inches wide in okay. HO scale. That's correct. And let me just I'm going to just rotate it, or Howard, can you no, rotate we're, slowly? We're and now, Howard, I have a question. It can be a single stall coming out the back, or it could be made two stalls going in and two it coming out. It can, it can be either I way. Just want, I didn't want to have symmetry, so I broke it up here. Right. So. One stall coming out the back is fine. Now, what I hear, as I flip it around, you'll see I put a large locomotive. This is a Max Gray. 1961 Southern Pacific 410 2. It's wow. pretty large. You see how it fits. Oh, yeah. So I once built an engine house for a fellow that had narrow gauge. Uh huh. And then he decided to go to O scale. So I got the thing back, and I think I sold it to Ryan. And he couldn't figure, figure uh, he couldn't get a Western Mellon engine on there. Oh, God. And I said, hey, the thing what I told you was to build for small locomotives. Wow. So now I make sure everything fits. These doors you scratch built, didn't you? No, no, the doors are from uh, Grand Line. Oh, they are? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. I've never seen those doors. No, all the parts are uh, tissue or grant line. What I like about this is mine is very similar to this, but this one has a little bit steeper roof. Talk about the steepness of the roof. Well, huh? this would have this uh, high, if there was such a prototype, it would be uh, up in the north where they had snow, a lot of, a lot of snow. Mm -hmm. And when you have a pitch like this, I think it's 12 12. Okay. You don't have much of a snow problem. If you have, as you go further south, your pitches on your architecture goes like this. Right. There's not much snow. Now, if this were an, an up north with a very low pitch, you're talking about snow problems. Right. So this is a, plus it looks good. And mine was a white uh, with uh, anvil gray and weathered. And this one, you decided to use a, a driftwood, driftwood stain, yeah. and a oxide red. That's correct. And I remember when you were building this, this little entrance here on the second floor was something you... That was, that was an afterthought. It just looked kind of boring here, so I decided to put a little entrance up here. you got this huge area up here. It's well lit because you have the skylights. Here. Right. So why not put... The, you can have a machine shop, offices, anything up there. Anything. Even and, a model railroad. Yeah. And I think it really wakes up the building. And... Uh, I think I'm going to do that on mine. Simple to do. Yep. And or bring it back and we'll do it in a couple hours later. Yeah, it's it's absolutely beautiful. And it comes with this diorama. It's a small diorama and it has nice little details on it. It does not come with the choo choo. Right, it does not come with the engine. It's not lit, but it really doesn't you can light it up in an additional oh, yeah. cost. Howard, pull the roof off. Let's show the folks on the inside there. Now, you could put pits in it if you want, but we decided not to. Uh, it's just a basic uh, engine house. Uh, can have pits or it doesn't have to have pits. And then the roof, let's go ahead and put the roof back on. Now, this roof has cleats, so you line it up. Oh, yeah. Now, when you build an engine house, you have to have access to the interior. Right. So, it's, uh, I would say it's almost mandatory to have a removable roof. That way, anything happens inside, you can get to it. Right. There you go. And you the, notice that the, the ladder structure is attached to the lower structure, not to the roof. So oh. I lift this up. I see. 
you don't put the letter up with it. Yeah, I see. That's one of the other things we talked about, folks, is this could pass as a machine shop. This could pass as a sawmill, with, you know, with some modification. This could pass. It doesn't have to be an engine house. It can be a machine shop. It can be a, a sawmill or a sawmill complex, you know, changing the doors around. In New Hampshire, it was an elementary school. It looked exactly like that. Really? Wow. Except for the big doors. Well, it's very reasonably priced. It's $1,000, and it, it, it would come well, on a... The, the structure itself is 900 Right. The, thousand, the extra hundred was for the uh, diorama. For the diorama, the which is which we call upholstery. Yes, and it's nice, folks. For an extra hundred dollars, it gets on a nice gator foam board, and we have a bunch of nice little details and some grass and dirt and everything on there for you. Well, it's still in progress. The only thing we need to put on the people, and this has to dry. We did this this morning, mm -hmm. so it'll take all night for it to dry. Yes. And the O scale one would run about what, sixteen? Uh, sixteen, fifty to sixteen. Yeah, it be depends on what we do to it now, because we have extra bracing. Right, and, uh, and the materials would be double, but then again, the labor is not that much more. Right. So, folks, if you want one of these, and again, this HO one here for you HO folks is about the diorama is nine inches by twenty inches, but the engine house itself is about it's, uh, fourteen by eight. Fourteen by eight. Actually, it's fourteen by four. We'll measure Let's measure. Those are the wide side. At the widest point, it is exactly eight inches. Okay. And let's see, how long was it? Four, Fourteen. Fourteen. But this side here would be probably seven, six and a half, and yeah, six inches here. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you left off this, sh this little shit here, it would be six by fourteen. Right. But it sits on a diorama nine by twenty for the HO fellas. Mm -hmm. You always want to make sure the largest locomotive. Actually, we could put a big boy in there. We no problem. Yeah, we could actually. If you had, if you wanted the building a little bit longer, we could do that. Um, but you know, you can't go too long with these because it wrecks the uh, proportion. You know, remember in our O scale one, we were going to do for me, we were going to go 34 inches because I wanted to tuck an Allegheny in it, but the proportion didn't look right, so we shrunk it, it back. Was horrible. Yeah, it was horrible. So this is a good proportion. Your engine can stick out a little bit if you've got a big now, boy. that big engine house that Bob has sold? I think Ryan has it. Yeah, it's huge. That was like six feet or something. Yeah, it's so like... It was just too big. <laughs> it's gigantic. <laughs> well, folks, if you want one of these, contact Howard and I at Alpug1 at Verizon.net. Like I said, we can do high rail, uh, high rail, O scale, mm -hmm. or HO. And for you HO guys... You know, th even thousand bucks, you've got a special Howard Zane building that, man, with this thing scenery, is gorgeous. With the, with the uh, scenery. Howard, thanks so much for taking time. Hey, thank you, Al.